Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. Mama saved the day by discovering that Accelo Pictures Corporation's temperamental star, Marcia Vallier, was none other than Rachel Rabinovitz, late of the Bronx, New York. With that situation over, we find Mama and Papa at home, as uh, Mama says... Jake. Jake, where are you? Jake! Uh, I'm out here, Mama. Out here. In the kitchen, huh? Yeah, yeah, here, yeah, back in the kitchen. What are you doing out there, Jake? Don't tell me. I'll come out and see. No, 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 no. You don't have to come in here. No, no, can I'll be out in a minute. I'm coming out there. It's in the icebox, I know. Empty the thing. You won't have nothing. Jake, what are you doing? What? What? <laughs> what? Uh, well, Becky, I was just getting a little bit hungry. <laughs> so I thought I'd make myself a little sandwich. You see, I didn't have a big lunch today. Jake, was the lunch as little as that sandwich? What? Well, <laughs> maybe. It was a very little lunch. Papa. Yes? Even that one little mm -hmm. sandwich would be lunches mm -hmm. for maybe a hundred starving people. Mm -hmm. Is there anything left in the ice box? Uh -huh. no, sure, sure, Becky. <clears throat> but by the time we wait for the children to get here to eat with us, I would be dead from hunger. That's very mm -hmm. foolish, Jake. Anytime you are dead from hunger, you are dreaming. Oh. And don't mm -hmm. eat the raisins. I'm saving them for the pudding we are having for dessert. Please, Mama, don't slap my hand. Uh, pudding? <laughs> what kind of pudding, Mama? Hmm. So I shouldn't tell you, so you'll be surprised. Jake, you are not going to eat that sandwich. Oh, but Becky, please. Please, Becky, I'm very hungry, and all I want is just a little snack. Snack or snicks, that's not a sandwich, Jake. That is a whole hog. Oh, but Becky... The meat is even hanging over the edge of the bread. Well... Yeah, and the half a loaf you use for one sandwich. That you call a snack? Oh, but Becky... Could it have a, Jake? Um, Becky, please listen to me. I'm dying from In hunger. In just a few minutes, the children will be here, and you will eat supper. Yeah, 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 but... yeah, the sandwich you can save until you're ready to go to bed. To bed? Then you'll eat it, and don't sleep all night because you'll dream. Papa, put it in the high spot. Oh, but Becky, please, I, I spend a lot of time on that, and, and the children, you know the children, they're, they're always late for supper, you know that. No, I don't know it. You... And will ten minutes make you a dead skeleton, Jay? A dead... Mama, there ain't any other kind of scare. All right, all right, all right, Mama. But I'm going to put it way in the back here so that Sydney, that yeah, Slamiel, won't see it. Sydney, Sydney won't take the sandwich. Nobody will, except you. <laughs> That's so. Ex all right, what's the use of arguing with you? You always win. Where are they? Where are those children? I'm dying. They should be here by now. Please but don't be impatient, do Jake. <laughs> As soon as they come, we leave. Everything is ready. Yeah, as soon as they come, but when, when? <laughs> to get up in the morning, you're never anxious. You're always late. Who is? Yeah, but just a couple of seconds late for supper, and you're starving. But, Ma... You see, Jake, they're there. Yeah, they're there. All right, all right, Mama. I I'll answer the yeah, door. Yeah, you answer the door. Put your things on the <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, that's Sydney. That's Sydney ring. He always rings like that when he is hungry. <laughs> and when isn't he hungry? All right, all right, Sydney. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hello. 
Pops. Hi, Pops. Hello. Oh, 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 where's Ma? <laughs> Hello, Ma. <laughs> Ma's in the kitchen putting things on the table. Oh. And if you help her, we'll eat sooner. No sooner said than done, Pa. I'll help her. <laughs> Thank well, Pa, everything's fine and dandy. You bet. Uh, wait a minute. How much will it cost me to find that out? <laughs> nothing, Pa, nothing at all. We've got Ma to <laughs> thank for it. Yeah. Yeah. If she hadn't showed up with that letter from Abe Michelson, Marsha Vallier might have quit. But now? <laughs> well, she's afraid we know too much about it. Nah, but <laughs> she doesn't do. have to worry. She doesn't have to worry, Pa, because we'll never spill the beans about her being Rachel Rabinowitz. To the movie industry, she's Marsha Vallier. Glamour girl. Glamour girl. Glamour, schmemma girl. Pa, $2,000 a week we pay her to walk around real slow and to wear phony eyelashes. So maybe people will like it. Yeah, and they eat it up. Eat She's it. a good actress, though. You'll have to say that for her. Yeah. Well, she had everybody fooled for three years. And far be it from us to tip the hand. Now, look, boys, please. <laughs> when we're away from the studio, you should talk so everybody understands. What you mean, Harold, is that we won't tell anybody. Yeah, that's right. For $2,000 a week? <laughs> for $2,000 a week, I would keep my mouth closed about it for ten whole years. Dinner ready. Oh, <laughs> she means supper. Dinner or supper, we eat. Sidney, please, don't push. <laughs> I wasn't, Pa. You just got up a little quicker than I thought you would. Is that so? I want to... Three minutes ago, you saw Hunter. You can't face now. You stand there having a argument. Come on, Pa. Come on, oh, okay. Okay. We're coming. Come on. Yeah, don't, don't, yeah. Please, don't... <laughs> yeah, we're coming. Well, we'll be inside the dining room like we had in New York, so we eat in the kitchen. <laughs> Oh, oh, cold cuts and salad. Well, that's the stuff to feed the troops in the summer. <laughs> Are we having soldiers for supper? So? <laughs> soldiers? No, Mama, no. You know, Harold, he always talks in cycles. Well, <laughs> so he shouldn't get busy. He should sit down and eat. Yeah. Over here by me, Sid. <laughs> Coming, honey. Harold, you sit by Yetta. Okay. Papa, yeah? you should sit here where the table is narrower, so you shouldn't have to reach across Not the table. The... Now, sit Mama. Down, sit down. Mama, what's the matter? We got no soup. No soup, Pa. This is a good hot weather dinner. Nothing to make you fat. Mm. Your papa don't need it. Um, pass the salad, Sarah. All right, Ma. Say, Ma, we didn't tell you how you saved the day. Day? <laughs> no. What day? Nobody could save a day when it's gone, it's gone. Well, he means about Marcia Valier, Ma. Oh, yeah, yeah, about her. To me, she's still Rachel Rabinovitz, whose papa owns our kosher delicatessen. <laughs> well, whatever it is, she's certainly yeah. calmed down. The boys on the set even noticed that. That's good, Sydney. that's good. Gee, Who'd ever have thought that Marsha Vallier was born in the Bronx? And not far from us. So what's the difference where she's born? If she's born in Romania or any place else, would it change her face? Well, there's not much glamour about a girl whose father owns a delicatessen, Ma. Well, you know what bothers me is why should anybody change a nice name like Rachel Robinovitz to something fancy like Marsha Vallier? Mm -hmm. Poppy, it's slower. But, mm -hmm. When there's a fire, you'll hear the bells. Mm -hmm. Well, Ma, Marsha Vallier just... Sounds better than the other name. That's foolish. You don't have to fit our name. In the pictures, they got different names anyhow. So what difference should it make what you start out with? Well, for business reasons, Ma. It gives her... Well, it, it, it gives her a more mysterious background. <laughs> well, maybe if I change my name, I could be a actress and that Papa, be careful of the iced tea when you reach, please. Right. I still think Marsha Vallier sounds better than Rachel will be a wit. Please. Please, look. <laughs> While we are eating, children, I want you to forget all about Marsha Vallier so that I should forget about the salary she's getting so that I can eat. Should it bother you when you're on the second place? Mama, please, what are you always looking at me for? But it's like I'm always saying, first you have a very nice person, a person you like. All of a sudden, something happens. Mm. The very nice person gets a little money, and then you don't see him anymore. So later, he has a big car with a shovel. Chauffeur, Ma. It's still a big car, and he could drive it himself. Well, I don't see what you're getting at. <laughs> you don't see. <laughs> Neither does Mama, but don't worry about that, Sarah. In just a little while, your Mama will explain. Then we'll have to figure out the explanation. Oh, uh, Sydney, pass the crumb, please. Oh, sure, here you are, Mark. <laughs> Thank you. So you don't know what <laughs> I'm getting at, huh, Sarah? Well, I guess you have a reason for talking the way you have been. You bet. When Ma starts to say something, she usually ends up with, with something terrific. Colossal. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, maybe I should tell you why I wanted you to come here for supper tonight. Well, there's nothing wrong, is there, Ma? No, 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 no. So I'm having you here, so there shouldn't be. Aha, uh -huh, uh -huh, I knew it. <laughs> now it comes. All right, Jackson, now you listen. Uh. Look, we are one family. Well, who told you we weren't? Jack, please don't interrupt. All huh? right, Mama. We are a very happy family, but we shouldn't forget it. Why, Ma, we'd never do that. Of course, Now, Ma. wait a minute, wait a minute. There's an old saying. A man never gets wet until he falls in the river. Oh, you wait. There's milk. Papa, what's the matter? Mama, you said that one right. <laughs> sure, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean that we never think of doing something wrong until we do it. 
So we take Marc Chevalier. Her papa's a very nice man. But because he owns a delicatessen, she changes her name. What difference does the papa's business make? Her papa's business don't make her an actress. Or make her not an actress. So much the better if he owns a delicatessen. Then when she's a big actress out here in Hollywood, it shows that she's coming a longer way to be famous than the actress whose father is very rich and buys her a studio so she can be acting. Gee, I guess you're right, Ma. Yeah, but the public never thinks of it that way. <laughs> you know something? <laughs> That's one of the reasons I love your mama. Jake. Because she knows what is going on underneath, not just on top. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, we should always be together, no matter what happens. <laughs> Please, pass the pickles, sir. I don't mean that we should all live together because being too close to each other is worse than being too far away. Because when you are far away, you remember the nice things. But when you are too close, you see only the bad things. So now I'm finished. Gee, Ma, I guess we didn't realize we were, well, having a lot of other interests and thrilled with the movie business and... Sort of forgetting that we were all one family. So now you should remember it. Why, you're terrific. It's only the half. She's colossal. And that's another thing. Huh? When you was in the knee pants and uniform business, it don't make you talk like you are Jack the Giant. So why should any other business? <laughs> that's the master. That's right, Mama. Half of the time, I don't even know what they're talking about. All right, Papa. In the studios, they should talk that way. But at home, they shouldn't. Papa. Hmm? Where did all the salad go? Well, with the, the salad? Uh, Mom, how should I know? So when I'm talking, you're eating? Oh, well, let's just leave the dishes, Ma, and all go to a movie. No, I'm tired, sir. You go. You children go, huh? Oh, no. Yes, I wanted that you should. I said what I'm having to say, and so now you children go to the movie. Oh, yes? we'll do the dishes first, No, sir. no, no, no. Papa ain't finished yet. <laughs> the show might be closed if you wait. Gee, Ma, Ma, you're so... Well, we all think so. You so are you do, and Yetta and the boys. And now you go to the movies, yeah, and have a good time. And maybe tomorrow we'll go shopping. Okay, Ma. But you're sure you don't want to come along? I'm sure. And besides, Papa would fall asleep, and then we would have to wait for the second show so he could see the picture. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so comfortable, I don't even want to argue about that. Well, here we go, then. And we'll make the first show and get home early. <laughs> Pull out, my chef. All right, dear. Now you won't forget what I said, huh? We couldn't, Ma. I'll say not. Night, Pa. Good night. Good night. Have a good time. Good night, Ma. <laughs> See you in the morning, Pa. And you, oh, yeah, Pa. We've got a tell of Oh, I forgot. Tell you in the morning, Pa. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Mama, we should be glad we got such fine children. Tonight, I'm even liking Sydney and Harold. Yeah, we should be glad. Jack, you know something? What, Mama? They're colossal. <laughs>